Hi everyone, my name is Jess and I am a thriftaholic. I have a big thrift haul for you guys. I went to two of my local honey holes the other day. One place had a half off sale clothing. So let's get started. All right, the first item I actually already have photographed because it is a vintage 70s wedding gown and it's white. I have four kids, two cats. I didn't want it. It's in mint condition too, which is very rare. So I photographed it. I still need to measure it, but it is put away safe until I can measure it today. And then I'll get that listed. It's absolutely gorgeous. I actually, if you want to check out, I think my previous video was a thrift with me. I show it and they had marked it $30 and I just I was on the fence about it. But I said in the video, if it's still there the next time it's meant to be, and I'll ask if they'll take 20. I went there they actually marked it down to 20. So it's gorgeous. I wish I had a person available to come model it. Um, but everybody that I know that can fit into a size small um, is out of town right now. So let's get started. Um, I've already popped up these pictures of that gorgeous gown. I did pick up a few Easter items. I typically only sell Halloween and Christmas items as far as resell. And I like to stick to vintage. Okay, I thought she was staring at something, but she's laying sideways so you can't see her face. I love selling puff lump style uh, plush. And they're not really plush because it's this weird, like, uh, fabric. Is it nylon? What fabric is this? It's probably just polyester, but um, 1993 Trend Masters. This was a whopping 50 cents. And I did not Google Lens this yet, but again, it's vintage. It doesn't say what it's made out of, but if you know, you know. I do well selling any kind of puff lump, even though it's not a puff lump brand. I just put puff lump style. And a cute little bunny with, he's like an artist, an artist bunny. How awesome is that? So if I see something that is kind of different, I will pick it up. So here we have a rabbit plush wicker basket. I don't know if this was custom. It's like um, plastic coated. It may even actually be plastic. It feels kind of like wicker. No, it, it might be plastic wrap, but it looks like wicker, white wicker. And it's just a cute plush bunny with a basket. It would be adorable, filled with like some of the green grass and some eggs. Or you could put candy in there, little white tail. But again, $2 and all this is probably for 40. All right, now I have previously showed you something similar to this, but what I'm going to start doing is when I see these rectangular shape, I think they're more like lap blankets, vintage with a nice colorway. And this feels like wool or wool blend. As long as it's not unraveling, um, I will, this is my plan. So the last, the last lap blanket I got was wool and somebody had shrank it. I tried stretching the fabric and conditioner didn't work. So I added like a button and it's total granny core. This whole like knit look is really hot right now, has been for at least a year. But what I plan on doing is adding a button right here and how cute it'll be like a poncho. The one that I upcycled to make into a poncho, I think I have it listed for $70 and it has two flaws. It's more of like a granny square. This is uh, like almost like a rainbow zigzag. And I'll probably list this one for 60 or 70. And I'll just add um, a button right here. I have a big stash of vintage buttons and it should do really well. Uh, like Depop is uh where i think i have the most attention on that type of item so that was two dollars <laughs> and for like three minutes of my time to stitch on a button totally worth it uh again it depends on how well it was made the current condition um if it's textured and the colorway all of those factors i do not sell plain afghans unless they're like the 3d flower or a rainbow or something very unique or I think that would somebody would desire because 
Unfortunately, those items are made with such love and time, but they don't resell for that much. It's just the plain Jane ones that you see all the time. Okay, I'm trying to fix this, but it's not buttoned all the way. I will show you in the wild when I found it. <laughs> I love finding this color. It's like, it's a mint green. I love the square. Is this called like a pilgrim collar? I can't remember. Exaggerated collar, micro pleat, lace, pearl buttons. It's like a blue sun style. Accordion pleated skirt, midi. Has some shoulder pads in here, total 80s. Um, here's the tag. Made in China, but guys, it is vintage. And it has the belt, which you don't always get. So this is in very nice condition. It has the lace right here. I can't remember my footage if I told you what I plan on listing this one at. I will probably, as long as I look over it and it's a decent size, it doesn't look that small. Uh, it's a vintage 16, so it's probably a modern large. So I'll probably list this for like $60 based off of, a, you know, those factors that I've shared with you. But most of my vintage items, you guys know, I get based off of style, material, content. So this is a really cute, studded, double-breasted blazer. It's like a power blazer. Uh, rodeo, western, all of those are good keywords. It's got like these antique gold uh, faceted studs. Love that. Big chunky buttons. Look at these enameled black buttons. Those are absolutely gorgeous. I also have them on the sleeve. This is wool assembled in Costa Rica of US components. 100% acetate lining, which you'll see in a lot of vintage garments. 100% wool. So yes, whenever obviously there's a little um, schmutz, <laughs> whatever you call it, schmutz, schmutz, I don't know. Uh, there and what I, so for instance, it's dry clean only what I'll usually do when it's like a surface, like it's food or snot or whatever. Um, I'll take a used dryer sheet. It's a hack I learned from, I think her Instagram name is Chelsea's Cauldron. She always posts like really funny cat reels and content. She's also a reseller. But anyways, she showed me this hack on Instagram where you just take the used dryer sheets, which is awesome because you're recycling something. And, um, it takes off like deodorant stains, any surface stains, especially when it's like delicate fabric, like silk or something that you don't want to get wet because even silk will show like watermarks. <sighs> um, so anyways, uh, this jacket, I don't know the, the brand Harrison Kent, but again, uh, it's a 10 vintage 10, probably a modern small, almost likely less that for $50. My typical like butter, butter and bread and butter <laughs> uh, blazers I'll list for like 40, but that's wool. And um, I think I can command a higher price point for this. So I love finding this brand. It's actually a modern piece, shocker. Meaning modern, it, it's still, this tag may actually still be 90s, but Papel, Adriana Papel, she makes um, dresses and gowns. I do very well selling these either for special occasions, mother of the bride. This is an extra large. It is silk. It is beaded. Whenever I find these heavily beaded garments, I always look very carefully because if there's um, more than just a few tiny pieces uh, of beading removed, I will pass. But this is stunning. As you can see, all the beadwork. It is gorgeous. It's like a high neck formal top. This would look absolutely, I think I just said, <laughs> I'm repeating myself. <laughs> Has a revert, like a zipper on the back. Really cute with a pair of slacks, a mini, like anything. You could do so much with that. I will most likely list this one for $40. I will check comps, but again, I told you guys before, I don't go by comps. I just go by my own experience. I've been a reseller for 
six, maybe now seven years. I always lose track. So, all right. Here we have a nice black cardigan with rope beading, jewels. It's on the sleeve, nice 80s, maybe early 90s. I did check the beading to make sure it was all intact because with this type of beading, um, it's all intertwined and connected. So if one item or one bead was loose, it would continue to unravel. And you don't want that. So again, it's just, <laughs> it's a very, it's like a statement cardigan. And this one is by Maggie Lawrence. It is, oh, it's Rami Cotton, which is very common, but 1820. It's a beautiful size. I love having a variety of sizes because I think the average U.S. American woman is like a size 12, maybe even a 14 now. And um, as with vintage, I typically find like size small, extra small, depending on the decade. The older the decades, obviously, as Americans, we are eating non-processed foods and we are nice and skinny but that's a whole other video how cute is this vintage hugging plush set love this it's got the felt tongues they are both still there uh brown eyes i'm not sure if these they must be teddy bears but i love them oh they're attached by velcro don't put velcro in your title for eBay, you will get a Vero, which is a ding. If you get so many, you like get punished on eBay. But these were 50 cents for the set made in Korea. Yeah. So again, Google Lens is my friend. Um, if comps are commonly crappy on eBay, I'll still sell it, sell it for at least $30 on Etsy. It's insane. But that's how it works in my experience. And what may work for me may not work for you, you know? Just sharing my experience here on eBay or on YouTube. All right. This was in the 50 cent section, guys. At this place, if there is an item with no tag, so they can't really size it, they'll put it in the 50 cent section. And this is stunning. It's like Dynasty 80s shoulder pads, silk, heavily beaded cream colored pearl galore i mean check out these sleeves i think i'm going to model this one. Oh, it is stunning it is in beautiful condition i did look and i didn't really see any areas that were heavily missing beading like right here i see a string and i'll just take a picture of it but you can easily repair that and this is so like busy that you're not even going to notice that one bead is missing and it's again it's a nice size I'm guessing it's silk it feels like silk so my sheer no tag so yay I got this for 50 cents um I'll probably ask like $50 for this I do really well selling beaded garments uh sequence items that are vintage so so I paid 40 for everything I've shown up until this point. Next, we're going to move on. And I haven't counted the pieces, so I will count the pieces and give you numbers over here. Like either average cost. No, I'm not going to do average cost of goods because the dress is 20. Um, but like total number of items at some point in the video. Okay, so my other honey hole, I spent a total of $56. So today, my shopping trip, I spent $106 for everything I'm showing you guys. And let's get started. Um, probably one of my favorite pieces that will get me close to $100. I do not find these 70s shawl collar wrap cardigans very frequently, but when I do, they always get lots of attention. It's a cream colored white, or not white, cream, black, and tan colored cardigan tie. This one it's not it's not very large unfortunately um i do have a buyer on etsy that was reaching out to me and like wanting an extra large which is a probably almost a grail at this point but this is vintage montgomery ward and i'll measure the shoulders to see 
but it looks like a women's small, maybe medium. So again, that was $2. I think the vest, yeah, the vest was $2 as well. I love the embroidery on this. Uh, it's just like, I'm spacing if this is like brocade or I can't remember. It's a paisley floral, very um, cottage core knit buttons. I did hesitate for a second because there is a stain right here. It almost looks set in. So I use granny's or grandma's stain remover, a little dot of that and spot clean it. It works super well. This is Erica, which I like a lot of their, her vintage stuff, Remy cotton blend. And this is made in China, but it does not matter. I really don't care. All right, so I will probably list that one for $40 if I can get that spot out. At the very, if you don't want to stick to the very end, I'll show you some like personal items that I got for myself. Um, nothing exciting, but if you're interested. I love this one. It took me a split second because uh, the tag has come partially unattached. I think it was looped originally. This is probably a 1970s. JC Penny denim jacket. Uh, trying to see. I think this is women's. It has a snap closure uh, spread collar, flat pockets. Um, I'm trying to think if it has side pockets, but I'm not. No, it does not. It just has the flat pockets on the chest. Just a classic 1970s jacket. I believe that's 70s. Again, I'll go to fashionguild.org or vintagefashionguild.org to try to date a, a little better, but it's in really nice condition. I don't know if I'm going to sell this or if I'm going to keep this one. It's just a white 3D floral knit crochet open knit cardigan. Um, I just really love it. So I'm going to try it on and I don't even think it has a tag. So it feels very stiff like it's at least from the 90s, but I don't know that I can confidently list it as vintage. So I'm going to try this on and it may go into my closet. All right. I used to pick up more cabby. Uh, I think this is more of a modern piece. The buttons are wrong, but it is a double breasted like schoolboy blazer in navy blue. It has uh, nautical anchor buttons, antique gold. Again, it's a size 14. It's under $30. All right, here is a brand that you guys probably aren't super familiar with and totally underrated. There used to be a brand called Horny Toad, which haha, yeah, they rebranded themselves <laughs> Toad and Co. Their clothing actually retails for quite a bit. And um, I will pick this stuff up. I personally have a pair of their leggings and the quality of, of their clothes is just really nice. This is just an open cardigan, but it is 70% organic cotton and 30% hemp based off of the material fabric, the condition and the brand. It's a size large. I went ahead and got it. All of those factors play into it. Um, that's mine. I did pay for my personal item separately for tax reasons. Okay, here we have a denim and tapestry jacket. I do well with denim and tapestry, so if you put the two together, I'm sure I'll do decent with these. With some silver metal buttons. It's 90s, just by Studio Works. It is lined but it's got the tapestry, it's got the crushed velvet. I just think styled right, this would be really cute. So it was a yes for me to take it home. And again, I'll probably list that one for $40. All right, I got this one because it was just kind of funky and it's wool. So here we have these large buttons. It's almost kind of giving me like neon Buddha vibes. I used to pick that brand up, but I don't anymore. It used to sell pretty well um, a couple years ago, but for me, it hasn't moved 
um, over like the last year. So this is a brand Carson. I don't know if it's anything, but it's just an interesting like artsy style with these chunky buttons, like almost steampunk vibes. And it is 100% wool. Dry clean only. Okay, I just seen where it was made. Try it now. Yeah. Just an interesting style. Okay. This is a, a two or three piece. All right. Um, obviously, I would not have picked up this skirt if it was just a black velvet skirt. But so this, like knee length, even though it's probably more of a midi. This probably goes a little bit past the knees. Came with it's an 80s three piece set. Um, it was on sale for $4. Comes with this metallic gold foilish tank and this velvet jacket with like the heavy crochet lurex uh, like piping. Pleated sleeve. Very interesting style. David Rose. This may have even been like 90s, early 90s. It's made in the USA. It's a vintage 14, so I'm guessing like a modern medium. That was interesting. It's like, I'm not super excited about it, but because of the uniqueness of it, I went ahead and picked it up. Okay. This, I've only found Michael Simon once. If you see it, look up the style because the styles do vary. But obviously I love coffee as I'm drinking it right now. And it's like, what time is it? It's almost five o'clock in the evening and I'm still drinking coffee. Uh, how adorable are these cups, these stacked mugs? And this is Michael Simon, but it's Michael Simon Light. This is probably more Y2K tag, I do believe. Why is my cat walking down the road? <sighs> All right. Um, I paid $2 for that, and I'll put it up in the corner where I think I'll get it. I'll at least list it for $40 because it is unique, and it's a novelty, like with all those cool, funky, colorful cups. Okay, so this tag has been updated. I always pick this brand up. Ming Wang, this is their newer tag. Even though it's not an organic fabric, um, these just do well. People love, like they don't really show wrinkles. They're very um, soft and stretchy, like a tight knit. I like the uh, white contrast, very um, chic. So I usually list those for $35 or $40. I'll probably list that one for $40. It's a newer piece and it's a good size. All right. This one does need a small repair, which I'm trying to pass on small repaired items. But I do well with this. This is like a 90s Lauren Ralph Lauren. I did pick it up because it's linen. It's a very lightweight hooded linen jacket. Unlined. It's kind of like chore style, isn't it? And kind of utility-ish. Probably already showed you guys the tag. Sorry, I'm a little distracted because my cat, she uh, does not get along with the neighbor's cat, and yet she went over to the neighbor's. So, uh, I don't know what I'll list that for. I'll show you the repair. It's pretty minor. Is it like, a, no, just regular button closure. Uh, somebody pulled the pocket too tight, I think. Um, and so it should just take like three stitches. Not a big deal. I can do small repairs like that. All right. I'm getting down to the bottom guys. I'm trying to speed it up because sometimes I just talk too much. All right. I wouldn't have gotten this, but it's dead stock. Um, probably a sixties or seventies made in Korea, Don Kenny cardigan. And it's a dark brown with again, this tied waist, which is pretty popular style. But to get it in dead stock is not that common. All right. I got this not just because it's like snow leopard print 
but it's velvet. That's also what made me get it. Right here. It's like 90s Kathy Lee. Was this Walmart? I don't even remember. This is an also an extra large. Somebody will love this. It buttons up the front. I'm obviously not doing it justice, but yeah, um, I'll ask. Because it's velvet and a bigger size, 35. Normally blouses I try to stay away from, but typical blouses I'll list for 30, but because it's bigger um, and velvet, I'll do 35. All right, again, this is a newer cabby tag, but these are large and these are like joggers. They feel like a nice lightweight fabric and I actually may try these on because I love joggers. 83% uh, lyocell and then rest is cotton. I'm just looking for the year, but they cut out the bottom tag so I can't see when these are put out, but just a very classic. Pants were $2. All right, I typically don't pick up ASOS, but somebody, some girl that wore a smaller size donated some trendier clothing. And I did pick it up because it was so cheap. So these pants were $2, US size four ASOS, but they are pleather, pull on pants, like skinny pants. These should sell pretty well, I mean. Not gonna sell for a lot of money. Oh, wow. Um, we should do decent. All right, I found not one pair of Spanx today, but two, and they put them in the junior section, so they're typically cheaper. Here is the tag. These are a small. These are a pull-on pant, skinny leg. Um, just like jeggings. Got that for myself. Made well. Made well doesn't flip as, for as much, but it was $1.50 and they're size 30. They're my size. So um, there's the high rise black skinny leg. I think they call these mom jean. These are the road tripper. So if they're not going to flip for like 30 bucks, I might just try them on. All right. This was interesting style. Um, like I saw it and I was not thinking Spanx, but these are indeed Spanx. They're like a workout legging. They are a medium. Just looking for the year. I don't see it, but really cool, like camo legging, full length. Um, yeah. And they actually say Spanx. So apparently Spanx has come out with a workout line that I'm not aware of, but I'm sure these are amazing. If they were larges, they would totally stay in my closet, but yeah, I'm not sure that style, what that one resells for. Here we have, oh, these are skirted leggings, which uh, put modest in the title. A lot of women that don't like to wear leggings, like as pants, um, like to wear these because their bum is covered up so they don't feel like they're being gawked at by men or just people in general, you know. All right, so this is a brand that's typically for children. It is Kate Quinn. I picked these up because of the novelty print and the new tags. These are actually a women's medium, new tags, and they have foxes all over them. There's a nice pair of sweatpants. Look at how cute these are. And they're a wide leg with like the cabbage hem. Really cute loungewear pair. This is a two piece I saw it the last time I was there, but they have it in like their specialty section and they originally had this two piece priced at $22. This honey hole, they have a special place and they'll price up like Pendleton and some other things for like way too much money that there's no way people are gonna buy that in this area, but this is a fun, very vibrant, colorful two-piece set. So I went ahead and picked it up. It's also a, a decent size, a very like retro paisley. Um, made in USA. I don't know if it's set. It looks more like late 70s than 80s. But anyways, comes with a skirt. Probably midi length. And again, it's a good size. I think the two-piece, that was $7 on sale, so probably like $3.50. And the last piece that I got at this place 
is a vintage army trench jacket. This was on sale for $5. I do well or have done well in the past selling vintage and military, like this army green style, either trench jackets or like the winter parkas, even if it's missing the hood or the inner liner. If I wear it and make it stand out from the others, it sells a lot better, more like on Etsy. Or this will probably do well on Depop, but trench jackets are like a timeless piece. Again, this is a timeless piece. I think this will do really well. I don't really know what all this is for, probably 75 to 100, but a way for me, for something that may be saturated, like on eBay, what I will do is I will make mine a little bit different, whether it will be make a collage, so I'll, I'll show the full view of the item, and then on the other half side of the picture, a close up of either the chest or maybe the pattern, have that on the other side, just to make it different from the other ones. Or, for instance, this one, I will probably model to make just stand out a little bit better. But anyways, that is my large haul. Um, I'll go through the items really quickly that I got for myself. This one, now I try to sell my Spanx if I come across it. And then when it sells, I'm like, oh, why don't I keep that for myself? Um, because some styles, like I sold an item probably a month ago and it was like a bodysuit or something and it was sold out online and I sold it for at least $50 and it was my size, I should have kept it. But this is not Spanx, I don't even know the brand. It's probably something super cheap, but I could always use one of these. I um, have neglected going to the gym. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get there, trust me. I've been going through emotions lately with having sick kids and uh, cranky kids, teething kids, not much sleep. You know, I will get there. I'll get there. Okay. Um, some brand that I love to buy for myself to sleep in or lounge in is Cuddle Duds. Um, I think they sell this at Walmart, Marshalls. Um, these pants were so soft. And again, I think I paid sleepwear and activewear is marked um, on sale for $1.50. So those pants were $1.50. This was a fun piece. Um, Venus does not retail, I don't think for that much. Some pieces, like some cute maxi dresses and some swim covers, I do do decent with. I did use to resell it, but I got this because it's a really cool, colorful ombre, like thin sweatshirt, but it has these really cool cutouts on the sleeve. Now I will try this on and I'll get something and I'm like, oh, it's so cute. And then I put it on and it looks absolutely hideous on me. Then I'll like resell it. Not a big deal, but I'm going to try to keep that one for myself. Again, I showed you this really cute open knit cardigan. I got my kid a sweatshirt from the school that they go to. I got a pair of joggers, 32 heat, which I think is either Kohl's or Costco. But I love a jogger. Requirements for joggers are they need to have a pocket and be fitted at the ankle drawstring is also a plus with a wide waistband um they're also thinner the joggers i currently wear are thick and it is kind of warming up i love thermals and i do like the style of this brand it's a boutique -y brand vintage america kind of give me free people vibes a little bit but it's a black waffle knit it's a cute lace-up tassel um and these were kind of like, I'll be surprised if they work out for me. And I think these actually are kind of expensive. I think I've heard Nicole State talk about them recently, if I'm not mistaken. But um, for some reason, I think these were new tags, but I don't see the tag anymore. This is Garage. And yeah, it's just a cargo jogger. I love cargo pants. Um, I don't think I currently have a pair. These may look cute on me. These, these may look awful. <laughs> I'm gonna give them a shot. They're two dollars. If not, I'll resell them. Okay, now that was it, guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. If I can get this posted over the weekend, otherwise, I'll catch you on my next video.